I'm here at the Hood Canal Floating Bridge, where maybe just half of young migrating fish will make it to the other side. The problems they face are much deeper than we might expect. The Hood Canal Bridge stretches nearly 8,000 feet. It's the longest saltwater floating bridge in the world. With openings on each end, about 90% of the bridge rests on the water, with concrete extending about 15 feet deep. That means when salmon and steelhead try to migrate out to sea, they are literally hitting a wall. That's where the problem starts. I think that we need to do something as soon as possible. Megan Moore is the fish biologist who first discovered this death trap. Tracking tagged steelhead, she's never seen mortality this high in one spot. These stationary tags that would just ping over and over and over again until the battery died. She published in 2013. Her studies show 30 to 50 percent of fish who make it to the bridge don't get past it. That's a big deal when we're spending, you know, fairly significant amounts of money um, in Hood Canal trying to restore habitat there. This is Hans Daubenberger. He's the senior research scientist for the Port Gamble Squalum tribe. In 2015, they started looking at how all fish behave at the bridge and why it's so deadly. There's the seal hunting the Chinook salmon. The tribe's videos catching predators in the act. The bridge creates a mile long predator's buffet as fish, stunned by the obstacle, spend an average of two days trying to get around or under it. So essentially, that's a deep dive if they want to get underneath. Right. It's, it's not a normal behavior. Normally, Daubenberger says the young fish swim within three feet of the water's surface. Remember, that concrete is five times deeper than that. Nearby, the seals are plenty. So are the birds, and so are the fish trapped at the wall. Last week, there were probably a million Chinook at the bridge itself. Which means up to half a million likely didn't make it. It's probably 100 plus seals on this rock over here. But neither scientist thinks harassing predators will help. There are so many, they say more will just take its place. I think passing the fish as fast as we can so that they can get by the predation is, is kind of the more feasible strategy. Scientists are looking at ways to do that to start as soon as next year, turning off lighting, changing currents, and other ways to attract fish to the edges. These endangered species are facing enough barriers without having a physical one. It's kind of adding a, a big insult to a lot of the problems that we already have. But for now, that barrier isn't budging, and neither are millions of fish. At the Hood Canal Bridge, Simone Del Rosario, Q13 News.